And we're following that breaking news tonight at 6 o'clock. Metro Police right now are searching the southwest side near McCarty and Sadie Streets. They tell us they're not sure if this is connected to missing eight-month-old Amaya Robertson. This is just a few miles, though, from where police were searching yesterday. And this is a live look right here of what's going down right now. We have a crew there that's monitoring the situation, talking to the authorities about what they're looking for and what they're finding. As soon as we learn any new information about this police investigation, we'll bring it to you here. And meantime, the FBI is now helping in the search for eight-month-old Amaya Robertson. Agents, along with Metro Police, are working with this. This is some new video that was captured on a home surveillance camera and this was taken the very same day that the missing girl's mother reported her missing. Now today Amaya's father talked with our crime beat reporter Steve Jefferson. And he walks us through the video that really has become a key part of this developing case. That home security video focuses on what happened at this dumpster just minutes before the little girl was reported missing. The March 16th video is now in the hands of the FBI which is assisting Metro officers in their search for Amaya Robertson, reported missing the very same day. It shows a pickup truck at a dumpster in Amaya's babysitter's neighborhood. You can see someone exit the pickup, go behind the truck, and eventually drive away. Minutes later, a second camera records the same pickup truck pull up to the babysitter's home. She was supposed to go to the babysitter's house on 229 South Holmes. She was never arrived there. More video shows Amber, who is reportedly off camera, explaining her missing daughter to a Metro officer driving the police car you see in the video. Metro police say the mother reported Amaya missing on the 16th. As they started to investigate, Amber reportedly revealed she saw her baby daughter last on March 14th. Amber told Eyewitness News her boyfriend was supposed to drop her off at the babysitter's. The girl's biological father talked to Eyewitness News by telephone. It'd be a blessing to have her back home. It's, it's like you lost half your life without her being here. It's hard to wake up every day not seeing her here. Right now, do you have any guess or anything what may have happened to Amaya? I have no idea what happened here. That statewide silver alert is still in place. Please want to hear from anyone that has information about Amaya. On the Crime Beat, I'm Steve Jefferson.